Welcome to Jamie TV. Thank you very much for tuning in. Recently, popular iOS developer Elliot Garage released a new effects app for iOS. Now, you may be familiar with an effects app that he released earlier this year called Classic Effects, which gave us a palette of eight traditional sounding effects to play with. Now, modern effects works in very much the same way. In fact, identically, except for the sounds. The sounds are more your challenging, maybe experimental, edgy, dirty, filthy sounds. And we like that here, so let's dig in and have a play and see what it sounds like. With no pissy panting about. Okay, so to demonstrate these effects to you, I'm going to use this nice little sounding agonizer. Let's just come out of here and we will engage modern effects. Let's go in and have a look at the interface. Now you'll see that the settings here are all over the place. So let's just press clear, get rid of my settings because I've been having a play around with this. Okay, so we are faced with eight XY pads. Each one represents a different effect. I'm gonna start with the pan because I think this is a really nice one to demonstrate exactly how this works. So to bring some of the effect into the mix, we just turn up the mix. Now when I press on the XY pad, you'll see two words appear. Up at the top, it will say rate, and to the side, it says LFO. Of course, the words that appear are different for each one of the effects. It's just to indicate what is happening as you're moving this little node around. So for pan, if I move up and down, we're changing the amount of, I think it's the amount of LFO that is mixed in. So I shall just demonstrate. And then the rate of the LFO by moving this way. Simple as that. So let's go through the effects now so I can give you a quick demonstration of what each one sounds like. So we'll go over to the bit crusher, bring up the mix. Pretty cool sounds, right? take that one down ring modulator oh yes bring the mix up you stupid hippie of course you can have the mix very very subtle set kind of an extreme sound if you like and just bring a little of it in there so it's just kind of like a shadow in the background or of course you can go full out now for insane sounds Awesome is that I could just play with this ring modulator all day, it's awesome. Okay, and fuzz. This one again is one of my favorites, this is particularly good. It's actually a fuzz octava, so the more that I push the node in this direction, the more we can hear the extra octave. And the more I move to the right, the more I bring up the gain of the fuzz. We can actually have all fuzz and no octiva. Or all octiva and no fuzz. I've already used this on a couple of things. I'm just really, really impressed with this. Okay, and the saturator. The saturator I've actually used when I didn't really need much in the way of saturation, but I'd already used a few of the other effects in the sound and I needed something to brighten up that sound. It just needed a bit more top. And I actually just used this and I wound up the tone but kind of 
kind of kept the gain really low on the saturator. It just didn't need much in, in the way of more saturation. Let's just wind that all the way up. I forgot to show you something I wanted to show you. Let me just bring some more fuzz in. And put it somewhere like around here, I think it was. Something like that. And then let's bring in the bit crusher. That's going to be in a track, it has to be. Okay, now the rectifier. Bring some mix up. Oh, take the bit crusher down. Stupid hippie. Similar to the saturator, but much harsher. Again, the tone is really, really effective. Wonderful, wonderful. If you're looking for some really kind of edgy, nasty synth, I can really see that being very, very useful. Okay, and let's have a look at the rectifier distortion. As I do this, you might be thinking, wouldn't it be great if we could automate that? Well, we can. More on that later. Let's have some more gain on there. You'll notice at the bottom of this particular effect, instead of having a mix, we have a gain. And I'm sure, just as I'm doing this, you can tell why. And let's just try that nice and low. See, that could be really, really effective used quite subtly. All right, now, we've already done pan, and finally we have spread. Let's bring this right into the mix so I can show you this. And here we can alter the width of the spread. And the pan. So let's just bring the width right down. Bring the pan up for you. And then add the width. Wonderful stuff. Over to the right here, we have a dry wet mix for the whole set of effects. So let's say if we've set some kind of, I don't know, some kind of vicious extreme sound and maybe put that in there and let's go full on with this and uh, see what that sounds like that sounds awesome i might have to save that okay now we can blend this all the way in full on wet mix or we can kind of have it nice and subtle you know Awesomeness. If we wish, we can ask modern effects to create us a random sound. Oh, I didn't save my sound. Oh, I didn't save my sound. Stupid hippie. Okay. Um, it looks like I'm going to be doing some pissy panting around trying to get that sound back. But anyway, never mind. Right. Another thing that we can do is we can change the order of the effects. So we click here and then we just drag them around and put them wherever the hell we like which is really, really cool. And if you'd like to check out some of the presets that have been made for you, just go up to this window here and have a look through. You'll see that there are some by Elliot and some by this guy whose name I dare not try and pronounce, but he's a really nice guy. And um, there's some by this uh, stupid old hippie dude. And if you want to save your preset, like I just forgot to do because I'm old and my brain's going. You just click this plus here and type in the name for your 
brand new awesome preset. You can set an effect up the way that you would like it to be and then mute it with a double tap where it says mix. And then you just play And then when you want that effect to kick in, double tap again. Also, you can put your finger in the XY pad to select a state and then tap with another finger a temporary state to create some kind of, you know, glitchy kind of effect maybe. And also, you can even drag around those two points. Now, if I put modern effects into live mode, let me just turn up the rectifier here. Okay, I'm gonna put us into live mode. Now all of the effects are off. But if I touch somewhere in the XY pad, that effect is immediately activated. So let's just try that. Okay, let's talk automation. I'll just scoot over here, solo my microphone and scoot back and solo this instance of Chow Kick. Now if I open up Modern Effects and click here, come on mouse, you'll see that there are many parameters exposed inside the app. So you can use something like Rosetta or some kind of controller to automate various different parameters inside of Modern Effects. Let me just open Rosetta. You'll see I'm using Rosetta here to automate the ring modulator. And that's all pretty cool. But let me just show you something now that's already built in to Modern Effects for you. You'll see in the top right hand corner here, we have an automation button. If I press it, it goes a lovely red color. And if I press play on the transport, the white border around the outside shows the progression of one bar. Now anything I do in modern effects during that bar, it will duplicate in the next bar. So let's just switch it off a moment. We'll bring up the bit crusher node to about here. Put it back on. And I'm gonna bring the mix up like so. Okay, now let's do something a bit crackers with the ring modulator. I'm gonna bring the mix up quite high and then bring the node down here. Okay, wait for one bar to pass. Resizing may sound like a very small matter, but to me, I really don't think that it is. Let me just close Shaper here. Okay, now I'm gonna grab the corner of Modern Effects and drag it, and it resizes itself appropriately. And there, and there. No matter what you do with it, it seems to be able to find a way to fit the space that you give it. So whether you're looking for like a full screen layout for live jamming or you're wanting to fit it into a little corner of your screen, it's gonna just resize itself in a really cool way that's very, very useful. And this and Classic Effects are probably the best two apps I've encountered for this. And I think this is really, really useful because 
when you're talking about a device like an iPad that has very limited screen real estate, it just helps things. It just helps for me, especially when I'm making a video and I want to have lots of things on screen for people to see, to see what I'm doing. It really helps. And I think it shows just how much care has gone into making these apps. Okay, now let's show you something else. Let's have a look at the multibus out functionality. So I'm just going to bring this volume down a little bit. And if you look at the bottom of the app, you'll see that for every effect, there is a bus. At the moment, they're all going to bus one. So let's just randomly do something insane with every single effect on here, right? And we'll go for some really crackers sounds here and let's just ramp everything up. Let's go a bit insane with it. Okay. And then we're gonna go here and send every effect to a different bus. And you'll hear that gradually as I'm doing this, the effects are starting to disappear because I'm sending them to buses that don't exist in this project yet. Okay, so now all you're hearing is the bit crusher. And if I take that out of the mix, we've got the clean signal of the synth again. Okay, I'm just gonna stop the music for a moment and I'm gonna come here and go to the effects slot on this empty channel, multibus audio unit instances, select that. And now we've got a bus two for the effects. So let's just go press play again. And now what you're hearing is the ring modulator coming out of this channel here. So I can just blend in as much as I wish. All right, so I'm just gonna add all the other channels. So now I've added an output bus for every effect. I'm just gonna bring down the original signal nice and low and just show you that actually if I open one instance and just drag it up to the top, okay. And you'll see as I go along, I can add different effects with the different faders. So that means that also now, as well as maybe if I was in a live situation, I don't know, and I wanted to use the full size big faders in AUM to fade in that effect, you know, I could, I could use it that way. But also it would mean that I could build a project like this. So what you're getting with this universal AUV3 app for a price that's less than most iOS effects apps that only do one effect is eight effects in a beautifully designed user interface. It's ideal for adding effects to a track, for jamming, for live work and experimentation. And it hardly uses any DSP so you can use a lot of instances of this in a project, which is always great news. Now you can probably tell that I really like this app and I'm going to try and tell you exactly why. You see, for me, the iPad is a touchscreen experience. You can add a keyboard to it, you can add a mouse to it, but it's designed to be a touchscreen interface. And I think that 
because a lot of iOS musicians are always clamoring for software that they've experienced on say a desktop or a laptop to be ported over to iOS that's I think a lot of those I think a lot of that kind of software falls down it falls short for me a bright future for iOS is software that is specifically designed for that touchscreen experience and takes full advantage of it which this app does and I just want to say that I think that Elliot Garage has done an absolutely phenomenal job with this app. Now I think I've covered everything about this app in this video but if I have missed something you know because I'm knocking on a bit something might have escaped my attention if you have any questions by all means do comment below the video and I will do my best to help I will always reply. Underneath the video you will find all the ways you can help the channel, check out my website, merchandise, Patreon, etc, etc. Until my next video, be good people, take very good care, make lots of music. Thank you for watching and do not piss your pants about. See you later.